Michael R. of Easton, Pennsylvania. Uh, he's got a few questions here for the weekly update. There are not many updates on your home improvements. Has the foundation been reinforced, waterproofed, and updated to meet current code standards? Yes, it has. Uh, does the basement still have that moldy, dingy smell? Uh, yeah, it's a basement, and um, it's uh, it's just uh, flagstones right over top of the dirt, so uh, that's going to stay that way for a while. Is the ultimate goal for future storage? Uh, yeah, future storage and access. Uh, what Dave Fisher is doing right now with the um, uh, correspondence archives, scanning those and then uh, we'll be storing them in much smaller, more easily accessible containers so we can find a specific letter uh, when we have to find a specific letter. And uh, that really requires uh, more flat area of display space uh, rather than just stuffing them all in uh, giant Tupperware containers and stacking them up where uh, you have no idea what's in there or how to get to it. Or create an extension of the home to be another location displaying artwork for the museum when you are no longer with us. Uh, it's not actually going to be a museum. It's just going to be uh, the house as it was when I left it. And uh, people will be able to uh, pay a security guard to uh, uh, stay right by them. And they can go anywhere in the house and do whatever they want and look at whatever they want. Uh, just have to put it back where you where you got it. Uh, I don't think that uh, the comic book field and certainly service is big enough to sustain any kind of museum. If you can't keep a Dick Tracy museum open or uh, the Words and Pictures Museum that Kevin Eastman tried open, then I don't think uh, museums are a possibility. It's really just preserve the house and all its contents and uh, I have, uh, have access for people who are interested and willing to pay the freight for uh, getting in here and looking at all this stuff. Uh, number two, how about the porch? Has that been replaced and rebuilt? Uh, no, it hasn't. Uh, that, uh, that was the course that we were on uh, right up to the point where I got notified that Wrecker was closing the warehouse in Leamington, so uh, all of the resources um, had to go to that, uh, closing down the warehouse, getting down there and sorting the books and uh, transporting them up here and uh, renting storage space, but uh, hopefully we're over that hump and uh, I will be able to, uh, to get the, uh, a porch put in and then the next thing will be drainage between uh, this house and the house next door going uh, well into the backyard and then uh, paving stones on top of that. And beyond that, we're not really picturing anything. We got a lot of stuff we got to do and limited resources to do it with. Uh, number three, I know you're still not drawing and you are left-handed typing, but have you decided how you will proceed? Uh, yeah, pretty much. And uh, are you still exercising the hand? No, I'm not. I decided that uh, exercising the hand, whatever uh, was going on in the wrist, uh, it was just uh, exacerbating whatever that was um, by trying to strengthen it. It's whatever it is, it's not, uh, I don't think it's a tendonitis kind of thing. And uh, I decided don't aggravate the wrist and hand rest the wrist and hand. Uh, is it wait and see, uh, or will you ultimately have the surgery? And it's like, surgery seems very unlikely. I don't think uh, they know what they're doing with surgery. This is, uh, they definitely can't figure out what it is that's wrong with the hand. I haven't heard any good news stories about wrist surgery. Um, so it is, wait and see in the sense that I am researching and scripting The Strange Death of Alex Raymond, uh, still making my way through volume two of uh, Rip Kirby comic strips. Um, so that has to be done first. 
through until the point where uh, I hope I can figure out where Ward Green left the strip as writer in 1952. And then uh, I can begin taking all of those commentaries and reading all of the research materials, distilling them down to what is going to make up the strange death of Alex Raymond, getting the pages that have already been done in Glamour Puss that are going to be in The Strange Death of Alex Raymond, mocking up pages for the other pages, and if the hand is cooperating, then drawing them myself, and if the hand is not cooperating, uh, probably getting Carl Stevens to draw them from my paste-ups. And so, yeah, no, I don't really picture any surgery. It's uh, either the hand is toast and that's just the way it is, or um, it'll come back to life uh, when it's needed after uh, the research and writing phase is done. Uh, is the delay in receiving can for all of all John Funk's fault? Uh, yes, it is pretty much. Uh, I know there was a huge lapse in correspondence with the can for backers, but was there communication between you and John? I'm guessing not. Um, yeah, uh, there was communication. It's uh, here's here's the deadlines. You know, you John, you set the deadlines. You tell me when we're going to be done, and then uh, it's the obligation on his part to get back to me and say uh, I'm not going to make the deadline. And here's the new deadlines. Um, is this why you and Sandeep are creating the Cerebus Oversize Project? Uh, partly, but uh, mostly the Cerebus Oversized Project was specifically for those items, oversized items, that there was no way that we were going to be dealing with those through uh, the Cerebus Archive uh, Portfolio Project or Bonus Prints. Uh, so that's the way uh, we had to go with that uh, as best we could. And um, John has has proved unreliable to keep the restoration project going full steam ahead, right? Uh, partly, it's uh, uh, really we're, we're just going to have to figure out something else with, uh, with the Cerebus Archive. Uh, I suspect what's going to happen, this ties in with your question number three, or question number five, will there be future Cerebus Archive numbered portfolios? Uh, as far as I know, yes, there will, but I think five is just going to be the portfolio, no bonus prints, and uh, we'll see if that accelerates the process so that we can get these portfolios uh, produced and shipped out to people. Uh, again, uh, as I said earlier in the week, uh, answering the question from somebody, uh, I still haven't heard from John about the bonus prints. There is just no sense to what it is that he's doing. Uh, the 10 prints uh, came over all in one back, uh, one bunch and I did them in one two and a half hour stretch in the morning and the other half in a two and a half hour stretch in uh, the afternoon and um, that was done and that was more than a week ago and no word on the bonus prints. There's no reason that the bonus prints can't be done uh, just as quickly and efficiently as uh, the actual 10 plates. So we'll just have to work through number four, uh, try again with number five, and then possibly rethink everything from the ground up with number six. And final question, how has your overall, overall health been? Uh, as far as I know, okay, but uh, then when I had the surgery last year, I had no idea that uh, uh, I was in ill health until I was in ill health. Uh, less Diet Coke and more water, uh, definitely. Um, Diet Coke is uh, a Friday thing, uh, same thing that I used to do with uh, Cerebus TV. Uh, I try to get one 20-hour day out of myself with uh, a lot of caffeine, and uh, that's been working well. More water, yep, definitely. Water is still the primary drink that I have. Uh, I do drink about a gallon, gallon and a half of uh, orange juice uh, a week, 
Uh, fruits, vegetables, and grains digest more quickly than meats and easier on the stomach. Uh, yeah, but I've always found anytime you look at somebody who is a strict vegetarian, they look really, really unhealthy. So uh, I try to have, uh, have cheeseburgers and, uh, uh, or a cheeseburger a week, uh, fries, a uh, certain amount of sugar, a uh, certain amount of um, definitely uh, uh, a lot of a lot of grains. I have like two bowls of uh, of raisin bran uh, every day, except Sunday when I fast for 24 hours. Uh, and I really that ties in with uh, I don't really think that uh, uh, diet has as much to do with things as does uh, your connection to God. Uh, your religious faith, uh, your religious observance, um, how many good things do you do, how many bad things do you do. Uh, I do way more good things than I do bad things, I think, and I think that's how you stay healthy. Um, you can try and find the perfect mix of um, fruits, vegetables, and grains and stay completely away from meat. But uh, if you're just uh, an unsavory individual, uh, you're going to uh, have the fate of an unsavory individual, I think. Uh, okay, that's it for a weekly update for, mm, what is today? Uh, when you're watching this, April 15th. And uh, we'll hopefully, God willing, see a bunch of you next week for April 22nd. Thank you.